Would you please find a comfortable position to meditate in? Whether you like to sit with your feet flat on the ground with your palms facing up, maybe you like to sit in lotus position, or maybe you'd like to lie down, go ahead and take a moment, find your space. And once you do, would you please close your eyes and take a deep, cleansing breath. Allowing this breath to embody the vibration of our divine star, our sun. And wherever you may be, whether you're sitting down, you're in lotus position, or you're lying down, would you please find the center of your head? Essentially, this allows your soul to come into your physical body and to be completely present during this active meditation. So just call your soul into your body and just sit right in the center of your head and be here right now. And now that you're here, would you start to envision, start to allow yourself to ground and start to grow roots from your body? Just allow roots to grow. And the roots are starting to push their way through the soil, and start to grow deeper and deeper towards Mother Earth's core. And once your grounding roots are in the center of Mother Earth, would you please allow them to anchor in and really plug into her core? And then give them a really good energetic tug. And what this does is it activates your grounding roots and it starts the gravitational release of your body, your body chakras, and your aura, your energy field. And what you're releasing into Mother Earth is any energy that's not yours. So just let go. Allow any energy that isn't yours to fall from your energy field into your roots and landing into Mother Earth's core. We're homo sapiens. We're sentient beings. It's our nature to absorb other energies within our body. But then what happens is any energy that we carry that isn't ours for any extended period of time can show up as maybe, maybe a little pain, a little illness within our body system. So would you just please start to let go of any energy that isn't you? You don't have to know who or what it is. Just say hello to it and then usher it right down your roots. And we have a healing agreement with Mother Earth. Whatever we release into her through our roots, through our grounding cord, she transmutes it and sends it right back to its rightful owner. So just let go. It's a win-win. And at the time of summer solstice, it's a time where we can let go of any darkness that we may be holding on to. And what that may look like is maybe a little fear in your space, a little conflict, a little turmoil. Because really, there's only two energies that truly exist. Either you're running fear or you're running love and every other energy falls under one or the other, fear or love. So let go of whatever fear you're holding on to. Maybe fear of the unknown, maybe fear of stepping into something new. This is the summer solstice. It's about new beginnings, about rejuvenation, renewal. So allow anything that would hold you back from walking a new path or stepping into your authentic self. That could be scary sometimes. So just let go of that resistance. Let go of that self-sabotage of walking in alignment with your authentic self. And not being afraid of what that feels like to you 
or to others. So would you please release any judgment or expectations that you put on yourself about your life to maybe where you thought you'd be right here, right now? Would you let that go? And then would you let go of any grief or strife that's in your space, conflict, turmoil, Remembering this is just another flavor of fear. And fear holds us back from ascending and rising and running a high vibration. And summer solstice has been, since ancient times, a day to raise the collective vibration, to ascend as one and be as one collectively. It's a time to step into your authentic self there is no other higher vibration than when you can run the vibration that's truly you. To allow the sun to shine so bright upon you where you can't hide from who you came here to be because that person is so beautiful. And with that, would you please focus your awareness to the very, very top of your head. And right there sits your crown chakra. It looks like a beautiful spinning tornado plugged right into the soft spot at the top of your head. And would you notice it's spinning beautifully? And then would you please start to turn your crown chakras light up? All you have to do with intention, just start to turn your crown chakra light, just like it was a light bulb, turn it up to match the vibration of our divine star, our sun that shines bright gold. There is no other sun that shines as bright as our sun. So allow your crown chakra to match this brightness. Turn it up even higher, higher, higher. Turn your light on so bright, allowing you to shine brighter than you've ever felt safe to shine before. We are entering a time where it is safe for your light to shine. Let it shine. Excellent. So in honor of summer solstice and our divine star, our masculine sun, would you please build a beautiful, beautiful golden sun over your head? This is your personal sun, and it's about 10 feet in diameter, and it's a container. It's a receptacle. It's a sphere. It's multidimensional, just like you. And then once you get your personal golden sun shining bright over your head, and of course it matches your beautiful crown chakra vibration, would you please create a magic magnet that has your name on it? And would you toss it into your golden sun? And would you call yourself back through time and space, calling your energy back through time and space. Wherever you may have left parts of you from this lifetime, from other lifetimes, maybe just a moment ago, maybe a moment forward, call you back, calling you back. So it's easier to run your authentic energy. And would you please have the energy of love, love, and more love fill in your golden sun. You release the lower vibration of fear through your roots. Now fill in with the highest vibration we can fill, and that's love. And love is a parent energy of so many high vibrational energies joy, amusement, abundance, creativity, prosperity. So would you also add to your sun energies that assist you 
with your new beginnings, whatever and whenever that may be. The summer solstice is all about new beginnings, stepping into you, stepping into your new beginning, stepping into something unknown, which is beautiful. We love, we grow, we transform. This is what we're designed to do. So we might as well run the energy of love as we do this, as we transform, as we walk into our new beginnings, as we walk into the summer tide. Excellent. And if you're working on anything in your space over this summer, would you please add that into your sun? Maybe energies that help you create this with ease and grace. Create this very easily. Excellent. And then when you're ready, would you reach up to your very personal golden sun on this beautiful summer solstice day? Would you tip it over like a pitcher of maybe wonderful lemonade? Just pour it over, pouring it into that beautiful crown chakra that is running so high, the highest vibration you've ever felt safe to run. And allow your body, allow your chakras, allow your aura to completely fill in with the energy of love and the energies of you through time and space. You feel so whole now. You feel more you than you've ever felt as you fill in with this beautiful high vibration of love. Filling you in, filling you up, top to bottom, side to side, down into your toes, down into your fingers, and once you're all filled in, and you're all filled up, you could go ahead and open your eyes, and welcome to this divine time of your life. <laughs>